Hey guys, welcome back to my another Swift tutorial. Today I'll show you how to do popover on iPhones. It's really simple. I'll show you first what we we're gonna do. So we're gonna have a button where we're gonna have a pop out. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and create a new project. It's gonna be single view application. Let's name just pop. It's gonna be universal and it's gonna be in Swift. Alright, so save it wherever you guys want. So let's go ahead and go to main storyboard. We're gonna need two view controllers. We already have one view controller. So let's go ahead and grab the view control from here. And let's change the background so that, that way we know the pop out uh, uh, difference. So let's change it to uh, maybe black. And now go to our view. Uh, from here, uh, what we're gonna do, whenever we click the button, we're segueing to another view controller. So let's click here. Click, uh, click on this uh, view controller, press control, drag and drop right here and there are several different options for segways there is show, show detail, present modally we want to do present as a popover since we're doing popover click on that let's go ahead and grab the button first Alrighty. and I'm just gonna set in the middle I'm just gonna go over here, select the button I'm just gonna go over here and just I'm gonna say add constraints and now I'm gonna open the uh, view control uh, view controllers uh, file before we do that we saw this we, we got this error so it says pop over segue with no anchor so what this tells you is the pop over doesn't know where to pop from so we have to give it a place where it needs to be popped from so let's click on this segue go up here and you see this anchor point you have to tell where it needs to be popped from we can say from the button so now it's gonna pop from the button and we can say which direction let's do it from down only so uh, now let's create an action for a button so whenever uh, we click on a button it should pop over so we need to create an action let's uh, press control and drag and drop and just say action whatever you guys like and it's gonna be a uh, wait a minute no I did it right let's go ahead and select the button and then press control and drag in for some reason it, it it's taking the constraint so let's go ahead and select the button now or you can select it from here button drag and drop that action and make it an action and just say button pop over action and we're gonna say and before we can do the pop over we have to implement this method uh, Im implement this delegate called UI pop over present control delegate and we're gonna say seg self that's perform segue with identifier let's name it pop and we also have to set the uh, uh, segue identifier. So go come up here, open this, and name it pop since we're saying this needs to be matched with whatever you name here. So make sure you do that. And now since we're doing perform with segue, we need to set the delegate. So there's a method called perform uh, prepare for segue. We're going to check and see if the segue identifier is the same as pop. It's going to be this. So now let's get the destination view control. So let's say let dest and then segue has this property called destination view controller. And then from dest, we're going to get the pop or controller is equal to dest pop over present view control present con controller and then now we, since if we need to make sure this is not nil if that is nil it's going to crash so we have to make sure if pop is the pop over presentation controller then do this so we're going to say pop dot delegate it's going to be set to self and i think we're all set run it we have to make sure we get this method adaptive present style presentation controller we have to set this to none there's a reason I'll show you why 
So let's go ahead and run it. There is a button. If you click on it, there you go. It pops up. Now I'll show you the reason why I said why you need to implement this method. So let's go ahead and remove that method. What happens? And now popover is presented differently on iPhone. And if you go on iPad, it appears different. And it appears as a popover. So the reason why it does that, Apple has implemented this method to make sure the because uh, but on this on the iPhone screen if you do pop over it doesn't really show the detail that a user wants to show so uh, for iPhone the the uh, Apple made it where it would just pop over as a whole screen whereas on iPad you have a lot of space so it makes sense to have just pop over it it doesn't take up the whole screen as much as it does on iPhone so that's the only reason um, that's all for this tutorial thank you guys for watching I appreciate your subscribing Please like and leave your comments, concerns. Thank you very much.